to adopt a dog, it seems like choosing one should be simple, right? But there's a few things you should think about before you choose which dog to bring home. I'm Joe, and I'm in charge of animal welfare here at People Farm. And today I'm gonna go over a few things you should think about before you choose a dog to adopt. So a dog's energy level is really important to determine before you choose which dog to adopt. And their energy level will determine how much exercise you need to give them. Exercise is important for any dog, but of course the energy level of the dog will determine how much you need to do. And and that means how much time you have to invest. Excuse you. A really high energy dog is gonna require multiple hours of walking in a day, whereas a more mellow dog, 30 minutes and they're good. In order to determine what a dog's energy level is, you can observe them. If they're running around like crazy and doing what we call zoomies, where they're going meow, then that's probably a higher energy dog. If they're like nipping on things and they put things in their mouth all the time and they're running and they're playing and they just can't seem to settle down, you have a high energy dog on your hands. These kind of dogs really need you out and exercising with them every single day for at least an hour or two. A more mellow dog will, you know, maybe play a little bit and then simmer down. They'll be content just to hang out with you. They're not really like demanding that you play with them a lot. Um, and they're not going to like really run around too much. So a dog's energy level, I mean, high energy dogs are fine. Low energy dogs are fine. But you have to think about, okay, how much time do I have and how much time does my family have to make sure that this dog is getting the appropriate amount of exercise? Exercise. If half an hour is no problem for you, but if you couldn't do maybe like two or three hours, you should consider getting a more mellowed out dog, maybe a dog that's over five years. If you're like into running and you love to go on long walks and you want to go to the park and play fetch every day, then a higher energy dog can be a lot of fun and you'll want to adopt a younger dog or a dog that has enough energy to keep up with you. So the second factor you want to think about when you're choosing a dog is that dog's need for attention. Every single dog is going to want you to pay attention to them. You can't just ignore a dog or leave it out in your yard and expect them to be happy or fulfilled. But some dogs really require lots and lots of attention to be happy, while others are content just being in the same space as you. So when you're meeting dogs and trying to decide who to adopt, Consider if the dog is underfoot, if they're constantly asking for you to look at them, play with them, like they want all of your attention all the time, then that's a dog that's gonna want you to engage with them more often. They're gonna want you to play with them throughout the day. You're, they're gonna want to make sure you're, you're in the same space as them. Um, and you're gonna need to interact with them more often. A dog that is content just to sit next to you or does their own thing and kind of wanders around. That's a more independent dog who isn't gonna be demanding attention from you all the time. Puppies can be a lot of fun. They're really cute, they're really cuddly, and raising a dog from a puppy really changes the way that you develop your relationship with them. However, the flip side of that is puppies need a lot of work. They require lots of training. They don't necessarily know potty training yet. They, you know, they need lots of different toys to chew on and different games to play. They need to be socialized with other dogs and humans as well. And just in general, you're gonna have to expect to spend a lot more time with a puppy than you would if you adopted an adult dog. An adult dog, they require training for sure, but if you have a little less time on your hands and you don't wanna spend as much time having to give your dog feedback, Opting to adopt an adult dog is a really, really good choice so that you kind of don't have to spend as much energy and time telling them what's correct and what's not. Lastly, a dog's medical needs vary widely depending on who you're adopting. Mixed breeds in general have fewer health issues, so you can expect to have lower vet bills with a mixed breed as opposed to a pedigree dog. However, if you have a little extra income on your hands, adopting a special needs dog is one of the more, most rewarding experiences you could possibly have. Special needs dogs are dogs that have limited mobility or that have some sort of allergy or some other kind of need where they aren't quite what you would consider perfectly healthy, but they're still have, they still have a great quality of life. So considering how much money you're willing to put into veterinary bills is really, really important before you decide which dog to adopt.